Chili's. Some say it's heaven. Some say it's just a restaurant. I'd like to say a combination of both. Here at Chili's, we have family, fun, friends, and good times. That to me sounds like heaven. Vote Randy, or I'm gonna kill you. It's breaking. You gotta hurry up. Okay. Ready? No jam. All right, ready? Ready? Now eat. Now eat. Some say ignorance is bliss. Well, let's define ignorance. Is it ignorant of me not to know what's made of this chip? See, this chip, I know for a fact, tastes good. But, yeah, I don't know what's made of. It's why it filled with calories and things and carbs that will just make me feel unhealthy about myself. So is that bad? Or am I happier just knowing to eat the chips that nothing bad will happen to me? What would be better to you? If the world's going to end in 2012, then uh, do we need to know this? Is, or is it better just to not know? I'm ignorant about it. I'm not like doing life lessons. I'm keeping society together. So my question to you, like, stays: Is ignorance bliss? All right, got a chin about 10, 15 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, take it, y'all. Getting a haircut. Yeah, I'm the only one getting a haircut though. Oh, okay, that's cool. I have to have a support group. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes. Let's go to Walmart and see what they're up to. Come on in. Okay, so uh, this is my first time in a Walmart, so I think I figured this out. Alright, you open this up, put your baby on here that you do not want anymore, close it. It's only one dollar. Press this button, okay? Then you, uh, um, and you turn on the abortion, and uh, that's how abortions are made. Okay. Next stop. Okay, so uh, saw so Walmart. Uh, this is where you come to get lucky, and I heard that's really big here. Okay. Let's See, go. it's really funny because you think it would say full of cheer, but <laughs> it's it's full of beer actually. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Oh, well, okay, okay. You see, you'd think it would say cheer, because it's full of good cheer, but what makes it funny is that instead of cheer, it says beer. Oh. <laughs> and, and it was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get it. So, over here is where you would uh, get your knee highs. Boy, that's interesting, because I needed to get my hair cut. So, I don't even know why I'm here. Oh, sorry. So, when you think about it, what if snakes had wings, Luke? <sighs> there he is. There's Randy getting his hair cut. And we got it all on tape. <laughs> he thought nobody would know. He thought he'd be safe in the secrecy of his own Greek clips. But we got him. Wow, look at her teeth. Check out his nose. He's my After a good haircut, you always want to go home and shower. Uh, Nick asked me what that thing is. And, uh, I'll tell you, it's a caution hot surface. Uh, maintain six inch clearance around the oven for proper heat venting. So, and it's got the best results and it refers to instruction manuals. Well, I don't know about you, but. <laughs> 
So you're always told your entire life to follow and like lead and help society. And then we have this idea that the American dream is still around. But yet the government puts restrictions on us nonstop. There's things like, just to mention one, uh, you can't smoke marijuana, yet alcohol is still legal because you can tax alcohol, thus keeping us in order. And people just can't like, break free from that anymore. And then I want to start a business, but I have to get like $30,000 worth of permits in a place. And like even China, a lot, like in a day you can start a business. So like we keep society in order, but what's the point of an American dream if we can't ever break free of anything? So we're always going to keep the poor down, even though the poor are getting more benefits than anybody probably. With uh, like 21st century scholarships, uh, with welfare, with so many things. So... Like, it's almost like the poor are actually getting the American dream. Because the American dream is now making money. Ever since, like, the things I want to do, I want to just be happy the rest of my life. Follow the policy that uh, you won't have to work one day of your life if you have a good job. So, I'm really, what I'm trying to get at is the American dream is lost. And, I don't know, eventually you just got to realize that it's going to stay that way. Let alone, you can barely light a match. But together, we can burn this place down! <laughs> so, uh, hope I helped. Um, I know where. I gotta go, uh, I gotta go, uh, clean now. Thanks for watching. Girl, no, no girl, I'm not gonna eat out your pussy. No, I ain't girl. I'm not eating out your pussy, girl. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna eat out your pussy. Whoa. Yeah. Why would I do it? Just to eat what I can? Why don't you blow me? Ooh, that'd be good for your man. It's not the same. I can get you off with my hand And you're to blame I like to stay on the land Oh now baby You're such a tease You get me up and leave me hard so baby please Don't stop till you're on your knees and getting good Oh I love getting blown When it's your turn You'll find a finger or a thumb I don't know if I told you this yet, but uh, I'm not eating out your pussy, girl. No, girl, no. I'm not gonna eat your pussy out. It ain't gonna happen, girl. I'm not vacuuming your carpet. Not with my tongue. I'm not juicing your cooter. At least not till you're done. I won't 69 with you, girl. No, you'll be 9 in alone. I won't 69 with you now, baby. No, you'll be 9 in alone. I won't 69 with you, girl. No, you'll be 9 in alone. I won't 69 with you now, baby. No, you'll be 9 in alone. I want 69 with you now, baby. No, you'll be 9 and alone. I want 69 with you, girl. No, you'll be 9 and alone. I want 69 with you now, baby. No, you'll be 9 and alone.